And that makes the third child that has died in a hot vehicle so far this year in Florida. We are just one day away from the execution of serial killer Bobby Joe Long and loved ones of those he murdered are preparing for the journey to see this all take place. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow has been in touch with these loved ones of the victims over the last few weeks. And Emerald, tough for anyone to imagine how these people must feel as they prepare for tomorrow. Developing tonight, a battle over better housing for our military and their families. A new report shows that military housing is filled with mold, pests, and structural problems at bases all over the country, including here in Tampa Bay at McDill Air Force Base. This is a story we have been covering for months now, and now we are getting a much bigger picture. Amy Norquist shared these pictures of the mold growing inside her base housing. This was back in March after she testified before Congress that these problems are making her children sick. The report recommended a couple of solutions. Creating a tenant bill of rights is one of them, and that's what the Department of Defense has started working on they started back in March on that and creating a registry of health problems caused by poor living conditions on bases the army is already doing that but the military family advisory network wants the Department of Defense to extend that to all branches of the military we've seen this nasty stuff down south but blue green algae is a new one for us closer to Tampa Bay unlike red tide this algae stinks want to know more 10 News reporter Madison Allworth's got you covered, and she breaks down the difference between this algae and red tide. 10 News Ten. reporter Liz Crawford talked to a Northport woman who had to put her medical service dog down after he ate the recalled dog food. Now that woman is joining a nationwide push for more regulation of pet food. We talked to a St. Petersburg veterinarian today. One thing she says you should keep in mind, just because a company has a recall does not mean that it's a bad pet food. It means the company is regulating its product and trying to make it better. But Courtney, what's really frustrating for pet owners is this newest recall is one of many. And speaking of pet owners in Hillsborough County, are you breaking the rules? Hillsborough County wants to remind you about the most commonly cited pet related ordinances that are being broken. They include having all dogs and cats vaccinated against rabies, as well as registered with the county. If you're going to tether your dog to something outside, you must supervise the animal at all times. If you're taking your dog for a walk, make sure your leash is no longer than six feet and that you have full control over the animal. And if you don't, you could be fined $100. Developing tonight, Nevada and its majority female state assembly has just made a decision to protect women's reproductive rights. The bill would rewrite existing state law to no longer require doctors to tell women about the emotional implications of having an abortion. Nevada's decision comes as a handful of other states have passed legislation restricting abortion. It's an attempt to force the Supreme Court to hear cases that could potentially overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. That's the decision that legalized abortion nationwide. So here's a look at that case and what exactly it established. It protected a woman right to privacy under the 14th Amendment. Right to privacy is not absolute and it must be balanced. That balance established by trimesters. First, government could not prohibit abortions at all. Second, government could require reasonable health regulations. And third, abortions could be prohibited entirely. One and a half trillion dollars. Let that number sink in. That is what nearly 45 million Americans owe in school loan debt alone. Some of you have asked for answers about how to avoid falling victim when it comes to paying back what you owe. So we asked Liza Lucas to verify. And if you want to look up which debt relief programs made that list, head to WTSP.com. We also show you all the different companies.